So the film premiered in, in Cannes in 2015, uh, and that was uh, one month actually after I had just finished the film, after working on it for three years. And since then it kind of went everywhere, like from Sundance to, to Toronto and Carlo Vivari, lots of different festivals everywhere. Um, so it was kind of a, a crazy journey that, that the film took me on. And it was very, it was a very good experience, very eye-opening to actually how the, the film circuit works and the festival circuit works. And like after the Cannes thing, a lot of people told me, for example, that, oh yeah, you only won or they only selected you because uh, it's political. Because Cannes, for example, chooses political films. Um, I guess that's true somehow. I mean, not that I won because of that, but that it's true somehow that they're interested in things that are more uh, topical. But I don't see necessarily that as a, as a negative thing because, uh, I mean, we make art that basically reflects reality in real life. So. It only makes sense that the jurors and the people who watch films are affected and touched by things that are current and things that are happening around us in general. Um, does it make I mean, does it mean that if you just make a science fiction film that it's not going to be as important? But it's normal also that people are going to be more affected by things that are current uh, and, you know, what's happening today in the world. Um, so yeah, so in a way, like festivals are very affected by that, but it's very important also to to keep in mind that uh, we have to be have to be subversive as filmmakers, and we have to talk about things that are current and challenging the status quo in a way of of what happens around us. Otherwise, what's what's the point? So I think that's where the challenge is, and that's really enough. Like through all these festivals that I went to, a lot of people actually didn't go to film school. Um, much more than I had imagined. And it doesn't mean that film school is bad, it's just that if you don't go to film school and you make films, that means that you really have something important that you want to say, or you really, I don't know, it's not just about making films, but actually trying to, to change something or say something. Um, and often people also have a more open, open mind uh, because they're less, um, how do you say, they're less formatted in a certain way because a lot of a lot of schools often have like a certain style and certain formatting, and you feel like these these guys come from that school, these guys come from this school. Whereas like people who necessarily don't go to film school, or even some who do go to film school, have been a more open mind and a different approach and a fresher approach to to filmmaking and cinema in general. Um, and I think that shows in the, in the in the festival circuits and also in the films that are that are being produced, because it's important to always have a have an open mind and to to challenge, in a way, your uh, the filmmaking techniques. Um, so I feel like, for me, the reason why I mix all these different medias is not, it wasn't necessarily a stylistic uh, decision. When I started working on the film, I didn't know what it was going to look like. I just wanted to make the film, I wrote it, I applied for funding, and I still was thinking it might be in live action. It wasn't necessarily going to be animated at all. But at the end of the day, it was the only way that uh, this film could work. So basically every element of the film comes from a specific reason of what it wants to tell. So I wanted to represent the city in a, in a realistic way, so in a more impressionistic, realistic way. So not necessarily just how it is in photos, but how it feels like when you're there. And that's why it's a mix of photos and videos that are made in a collage to give a more uh, impactful look of how it actually feels than just how it looks. But with the real textures, of course. And then same for the characters. I wanted them to be abstracted, and not just actual actors, because I felt like then they would be too too present and take too much uh, too much weight in the film. And so I wanted to detach a bit, so they're more representation of people from that generation, like the other characters inside the elephant who don't really care about them. Uh, you often talk in film about uh, production design and like costuming and stuff. My point was they look as neutral as possible, just t-shirts and pants. Um, like I didn't want to give them too much character because I wanted them to be very simple and just like a, like almost a blank canvas to draw our interpretation of the characters. Um, so yeah, so like everything in the film just kind of came from from like the, the intention of why I'm making the film, what I'm trying to say in the film, and that applies in, in live action too, like in angles you choose and colors and everything. Um, so yes, yeah, so I just feel like it's important to to have an open mind about these things and always challenge the way things work uh, and the way we make things because it's not very, it's not always very interesting to just keep doing things the same way. Or even like when people ask me if I would change something about the film. It has a lot of errors, it had a lot of things technically that I would have changed maybe, 
but I don't see the the point necessarily because uh, as long as it it did what I intended it to do and it touched some people in the way it was meant to touch some people, even if some others don't like it, then I think that's 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 fine because we don't necessarily make films to please everybody, but we make films to to translate something, to to translate a message into an emotion. And that's the, that's the most important thing that we can do as filmmakers, I think.